much. We are here with the, um, the list of parking restrictions and traffic restrictions newly implemented for San Fernando. You can see a new no parking sign has been put up. It's said to have no parking on Caribbean Street between Coffee Street for 80 meters north. So we see some vehicles parked up on the street, but there, there isn't any traffic ward, no police presence to implement the rules otherwise. So let's go on down to San Juan and see where we're going on with this new traffic restrictions. They said that they said that um, the army in Pakistan has been moved to that side of Coffee Street. So what we're gonna do is check it out, see if it's the same kind of people from auto work. Yes, we are here on Coffee Street. It was said that the Laramie taxi stand was supposed to be on this side, but what I can see, cameraman, if you could get the sign, what, what we have here is a pickup and drop off zone. Usually, parents of both schools, Grand School and Presentation College, used to park along Coffee Street, causing plenty of traffic on evenings, waiting to pick up the children. Apparently, this is some new initiative the government trying to implement a pickup and drop off zone. So I guess we have to wait until half two to see how this really work out. Because parents are complaining, they are custom waiting, parking and waiting, probably from about two o'clock till half past two to wait on the kids. So um, I've been told that on High Street, it's have a different situation going on. So we said, cameraman, let me go down there, let me go down, let me go down. No. You can see now, on Shagger Street is a down street. It's alleged that no longer you could go down Penetra Street, but now you can go down Mount Shagger Street as you can see the vehicles going down. They have painted arrows in the road indicating that you can go down Mount Shagger Street, which was previously a one way street going up. You walk here. Here we, see, um, here we see a motorist obviously not knowing of the new traffic restrictions on Penetra Street. This is now a one-way street going up. This is now a one-way street going up. Here we see another motorist being rather confused by this new traffic restriction. Here's a whole total mess. We see the new no entry signs, but persons out of instinct, I guess, just turn down yeah, the street. They just don't know. They, they, can't see. they don't know the sign. They don't watch the sign. It's have a sign for a reason. Although, although the, new, the, the restrictions are posted in newspapers, some people may have read it, but as custom, they just turned down Penetral Street, which is not possible right now due to the new restrictions in San Fernando. Some, some civilians are a bit distressed because new routes have to be learned, but it seems that it's been working because there's been less traffic on High Street. There's been less traffic on High Street, and um, which is which is for the good, which is for the good. There we see a van trying to cross High Street to go down Penton Street. Which is also Yeah, possible. you see, you see. Yeah. They don't know. They don't read papers. They need to read papers and stuff. What what I believe should happen is that there should be a police presence to direct the traffic. At least for a few days until people can cross some tape. Because it's Monday the fifth, the first day of the new traffic restrictions. Yet there are no traffic ones or police officers to direct the traffic. Let's um, go up St. James Street and we we'll go up St. James Street and come back. We we'll come out through Carlton Center. Right there, yeah. There you go. Okay. Alright, we just went and got some refreshments because it's some kind of hot and thing. But what, what I noticed is that the police presence have, has, has, has come back to. Sorry. Thank you. On the corner of Penetons and High Street. That is performance, just as we talk about it, because they realize, they realize, they realize the motorists not too sure about where to go. So they, we have some police here directing traffic, but I believe, but I, but I believe that I believe that they should have police, more police um, directing the traffic because it's still a problem for some motorists. People still don't know. This is Wesley Williams for reporting for Press Watch. We're here on Boop, High Boop. Street right now. Stay tuned next week. We're gonna have our next episode for you all.